Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Bill Gates and his children. Well, not really talking about them, just the fact that, uh, they're getting, um, rich. I mean, they, they already were rich, considering Bill Gates is literally their dad, and he was, at one point, the richest man in the world. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're living a very luxurious life. But, uh, something happened recently that may have shook their core a little bit. I don't think they even care, to be honest, because when you're that rich, I don't think you care about much. But, uh, yeah, uh, Bill Gates split up with his wife, right? And, um, you know what happens in a divorce, you, you typically get, like, 50-50, right? Depending on what exactly happened. I'm pretty sure it's, like, 50-50. So, Bill Gates got, uh, half his money taken away to, to his wife, and you might be wondering, how much are the children getting? Now, I looked it up, and it says that Bill Gates' kids are reportedly each only getting $10 million after his divorce. Now, don't worry, it wasn't me that said only, that was uh, literally in the title, saying, only $10 million after the divorce, okay, and each, okay, so each child will have $10 million, and obviously this is $10 million USD, which is easily enough to last you your entire life. Now, there's a bunch of people on the internet on this crusade saying that they pretty much got scammed and robbed, and, you know, honestly... It's like, first off, it's not your money in the first place, okay? It's your dad's money. You've essentially done absolutely nothing to deserve it, but, uh, except for, I don't know, being born. And pretty much you won the lottery, you never have to work, uh, a day in your life, and, uh, you might have hardships in your life, but not monetary hardships ever, essentially. You'll never have to worry about paying rent, you'll never have to worry about a dying family member in the hospital you can't save, you'll never have to worry about, should I buy this, uh, cup of coffee, you know? Now, people are saying that, you know, Bill Gates, actual multi-billionaire, so uh, he probably should have given more money to his kids. I mean, I don't know if it's up to him to decide. I, I, I'm not sure how the whole process works, but... Um, I, I feel like 10 million is enough to literally, like, I mean, what, what, do you really need more than 10 million dollars unless you plan to, like, have this massive ordeal of, like, car showrooms or whatever? I, I don't know. Use your 10 million invested, you'll probably get 100 million. I don't know. I just feel like nobody should be complaining about getting 10 million dollars, okay? Chances are most of us will never even reach that amount of money totally. Like, all the amount of money we've ever earned in our life, that probably won't even accumulate to 10 million. And they've been given it from whatever their ages are. I'm pretty sure one of them is like 18, one of the- I mean, they're, they're pretty goddamn young, right? Now, my only question to Bill Gates is, uh, hey, I, I do be a Microsoft user, so I, I think I deserve a cut, at least 15 million. No, but really, I, I'm not sure where majority of the money is going. Uh, I, I, I'm just gonna assume it's going to, like, his, uh, Bill Gates Foundation or whatever. He has something that, uh, you know, some tr sort of charity work. I haven't looked too much into it, but it's probably going to a good, uh, good cause. And pretty much the main argument people are saying is that, okay, Bill Gates, literally, I mean, 10 million. I don't know the exact calculation as to when Bill Gates will earn like 10 million dollars like I'm pretty sure I don't know maybe a couple days or maybe lesser I don't know how often he earns 10 million dollars there's probably like a video on YouTube which says oh Bill Gates earns uh five thousand dollars a minute or some garbage like that essentially they're saying that oh if Bill Gates actually loved his kids he's probably give them more considering 10 million is peanuts for him right so as of this moment as of googling Bill Gates's net worth he is worth about 129 billion dollars now let's just uh bust out the calculator real quick and do some maths right so Bill Gates uh, is giving $10 million, which would be about 0.0078% of his net worth. So, so pretty much that's equivalent to if your dad had $100,000 and he gave you $7. Now, honestly, if you frame it like that, I, it, it looks like he's kind of cheaping out on it or whatever, but I think he knows the value of money. I mean, he's literally Bill Gates. So I think he, he'd he know that 10 million is enough for his kids to pretty much live a fantastic life and never have to worry about money ever again. Like, if you won the lottery for a million, you'll literally be jumping in joy. So 10 million, Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, honestly, if we win even a thousand dollars, we'll probably start crying, but <laughs> that's just how it is, you know? There's just different levels to this. But yeah, I think you shouldn't really give Bill Gates a hard time because he's probably more focused on his 
as charity and helping kids in need, you know? I really don't like when people start, like, using this relative percentage, which is just completely stupid. It's kind of like, you know, if, uh, if uh, a rich YouTuber donates, like, uh, ten thousand dollars to charity and you're like hey isn't your net worth about 40 million like why are you only donating uh about ten thousand dollars you're kind of cheap bro like no did you donate ten thousand dollars you moron did you work for the freaking 40 mil that they earned and deserve and it's like the value of that ten thousand dollars doesn't really change right it can still buy the same amount of things and stuff and it's like sure it's 0.0001 percent of their net worth or whatever but chances are if you were in the position you'd probably just hoard hoard the money dude like be thankful enough that they're actually you know shoving out some money you know not many people are kind enough to do that they just buy another goddamn ferrari now a bunch of people are kind of memeing on them saying like how will they survive you know only 10 million dollars they'll have to have top ramen you know thrift store clothes wiping their ass with tens instead of 20 dollar bills <laughs> This random guy said, my dad only gave me $10 before he left the family. You know, maybe your dad only had $10,000 and that was that was all how much you were worth. I don't know. Maybe do your goddamn chores, bro. Bill is my dad too. I've used Windows since XP. <laughs> I was a proud user of Windows, XP, Vista, everything, bro. Bill Gates, I know you and me are homies. Uh, uh, you want you want to shove out some, you know, forty mil, just 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 a cool forty mil, bro. But yeah, in conclusion, fellas, I think it's not a big deal whatsoever. Now, honestly, when I first heard the story, I was like really confused because why do the kids get any money? Because I I don't know, they're just kids, right? In a divorce, usually the money is just split between uh the dad and the mom. But because, you know, they're adults. But uh, I, I think, I, I don't know, it, it falls under child support maybe because they're in like college maybe. I, I'm not really too sure of the details. But uh, yeah, I, I guess they're getting a cold 10 mil each. Bill Gates is that type of dad who leaves to get milk but then leaves you $10 million in its place. And in that case, it's like, you know... Go, go live your life. I don't need you to come back, you know? So I was kind of looking up as to like why exactly is it just because of like their Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation that they, they're not giving their kids any money. And uh, he actually has a quote from like 2017 where he, sa where he says, It's not a favor to kids to have them have huge sums of wealth. It distorts anything they might do in creating their own path. God damn, Bill Gates is a straight up philosopher, dude. I mean, I guess I kind of agree because, you know, often in life, you know, when you're trying to find your own path, you, you do it through like the pursuit of money. Because like that's pretty much the purpose of your entire life, whether you like it or not. I mean, from from literally your birth, right? You go to you go to preschool. Why are you going to preschool so you can get into school? Why are you getting into school so you can get into college? Why are you getting into college so you can get a job? Why are you getting jobs so you can earn money? Okay, your entire life is literally to earn money, and if it's kind of just given to you, your entire life becomes essentially meaningless. And you don't like imagine you never had to get up every day in the morning. Like you're kind of forced to, cause like oh I'm in school. I have to go or I will be homeless, okay? But imagine you just never had to do that. You had perpetual holidays. I mean, you know, I've always thought about this. Like, what happens if I just earn millions of dollars and, you know, I can just retire any day? What, what happens if you're literally like PewDiePie? And, you know, he, he's already said that he's kind of retired and, uh, you know, he's just making videos whenever he wants to for fun. But he, he also mentioned that he just kind of got bored, you know? Because honestly, for a lot of people, it's like, it's something to keep you occupied. Like, you don't know what else to do. I mean, honestly, I remember lots of my friends from school experienced this a lot. Like, you know, it, during the school term, they'd be like, oh, I want holidays so bad. And then during the holidays, they're like, I'm so bored. I want to go back to school. And I'm like, oh, okay, dude, what the heck? It's pretty much like, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. You want you want a little bit of less of pressure. Honestly, I I feel like holidays should be like uh dispersed in between the school year like you know a couple days every i mean there is like weekends every week but you know uh, a little bit more holidays but instead of just spamming like 
five months of school and then like two months of holiday because pretty much those two months are enough to like make you forget all of the material you've learned and then you just come the next semester and it's just completely useless but yeah it's actually insane paradox right it's like you want to earn a lot of money and you want to retire early but then what do you do when you retire early okay you play some games whatever um you know even if you have like okay i'm gonna play games with friends all day but you know the friends are working you know they're not gonna be all day right they're not as rich as you also you might you know you might travel the world whatever everything you want you can probably do it in a month because nobody has like sat down and written down like a comprehensive plan because it's probably never gonna happen is it but you know eventually at one point in life it's 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 gonna come right you know you're gonna retire whether it be age 60 50 40 30 20 if you're an absolute god but yeah but imagine retiring at 20 with 60 years bro i just no no you know that's unironically what some of these minecrafters can do because they're literally already multi-millionaires they've made their bag they can literally retire right that like tommy in it can probably retire right now which is like bro what would he do he'd just probably play minecraft more anyways fellas i think this was another case of a small loan of 10 million dollars okay but uh yeah that's about it hope you guys did enjoy let me know what you think should bill gates have given them more i mean i don't really care bro 10 million you better be happy that okay bye bye have a nice day